Hello everyone and welcome to CJ Mates. Today we will be learning about the assessment of Glasgow Comma Scale or GCS. As we all know, the Glasgow Comma Scale provides practical method for assessment of the impairment in conscious level in response to defined stimulus. The GCS mainly includes three responses: first, eye-opening response; second, best verbal response; and third, best motor response. Based on these responses, we give the scores and calculate the GCS score. First, we do eyes opening response. For spontaneous response, we score four. For response to speech, we score three. And for response to pain, we score two. And if there's no response, we score one. Next, we check for verbal response. So, in case of conscious and well oriented patient, we give the score of five. in the patient is confused for example you ask something and he responds to it but answers incorrectly then in such cases we give a score of 4 if the patient uses inappropriate words for example uses more violent words then we give a score of 3 if the patient uses incomprehensible sounds then we give the score of 2 and at last if there is no response then the score is 1 Here remember that in cases of head injury patients the verbal response of 3 is most common and according to the new guidelines if the patient is intubated and so the response cannot be calculated in that case we write nt that is non testable let's move forward to best motor response if the patient obeys commands then put a score of 6 if he moves to localize pain then put a score of 5 If there's a flexion withdrawal from pain then put a score of 4. If there's abnormal flexion that is decorticate rigidity then the score is 3. If there's abnormal extension that is decerebrate rigidity then the score is 2. And if there is no response then the score is 1. Here I have purposefully mentioned best motor response because there can be different response on different sides. For example in case if the patient has left side no response and on the right side there is flexion withdrawal from pain then we consider the highest motor response that is flexion withdrawal from pain and the score comes 4 so the maximum score that can be recorded is 15 and the minimum score to be recorded is 3 this completes the glasgow comma scale furthermore we also have a gcs p score and gcs pa score here the p stands for pupillary response about pupillary reactivity score if both pupils are reacting then the score is 0 if any one pupil is reacting the score is 1 and if both pupils are reacting then the score is 2 remember that the gcs p score is calculated by subtracting the pupillary reactivity score from the glasgow comma scale that is gcs p equals to glasgow comma scale minus pupillary reactivity score In GCS PA, age of the patient is assessed. Younger age is better prognosis. So that was all about Glasgow Comma Scale and its assessment. If you like the video, then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thanks for watching.